Welcome to the Small Member Squad podcast. I'm your host, Egg Platinum. We also have Young Left. What's up, dog? <clears throat> you know how it be. We have sorry, Brad. I was on stream. Salad, blueberries, Good. and strawberries. And we have a guest, Paul. Hey, yo, how's it going? Goddamn legend. <laughs> One of the few homies we have from high school. Mm-hmm. You know, the, uh, the the cringe high school videos that we'll re- we will remake if we get enough likes on our uh, our videos. Episode ten or some shit, right? We haven't I, mentioned oh, it man. in a bit, but like, I, 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 go I'll back, find, figure it out, um, and then fifty likes on 12. it. God, we made it a weird fucking episode, huh? Yeah. I mean, Dude, that's a, a lot of a lot of our uh, our episodes, though. To be fair. Oh, I know. I went back and looked <laughs> at all of them because I was just like bored on stream and was trying to waste some time. And boy, has our thumbnails gone downhill since episode eleven or some shit? I think it's episode eleven. Could be wrong on this, but it's the <laughs> one just titled "Salad." It's literally the only one we've ever put any effort into. <laughs> because thumbnail. we clicked. I think we only. Oh yeah, we yeah. have we have one ah. thumbnail. Episode <laughs> twenty two on YouTube. Okay, I was wrong. <laughs> but I was looking at a bunch of them, and boy, all I'm saying is I came up with some banger titles. <laughs> <laughs> Um, uh, but... so, uh, one of the, one of the topics that we were talking about, uh, pre-show, I, I, I was focused on opening things, but, uh, Paul brought up something about, uh, Dragon Balls or something. Yeah, you're thinking of Dragon Ball. I don't know why you had Dragon to fucking Ball. reference it like that. <laughs> it yeah. funny. I mean, Wait, when, he wasn't when even was... the one that mentioned it. <laughs> Oh, well, man. I commented on you bringing it up. <laughs> yeah. But, I... So, so I did a little bit of you know watching your guys' past podcast to kind of get a little bit of a insight as to what goes on, and <laughs> I found out that a lot of random stuff goes on. But Zach yep. is very consistent with talking about cock almost every single episode. <laughs> That's about the only thing that is consistent it's become it's become a daily quota that we can't have the normies listen to this podcast we got to bring up cock and balls at least five times throughout the episode <laughs> like, yeah we gotta make sure we bring it up right away yeah like well like i actually last week or some shit we didn't talk about it till the end but yeah it is one of the few consistent things we talk about and speaking of dragon ball can i just say Poor Yama doesn't know what the fuck he's doing. Now, none of you guys will know what I'm talking about, but he's the creator of Dragon Ball. This shit's been going on since, like, the fucking eight, 80s. 80s, yeah. Because Dragon Ball's, like, one of those fucking super early ones. Mm-hmm. Boy, has he forgotten a lot of shit. <laughs> like, if you ever go and watch the whole series, there's just characters that don't ever appear again. Like Bulma's sister, my mm-hmm. girl Pan. Her whole gimmick is that whenever, or not Pan, that's not her fucking name. I don't remember her name, no. but her whole gimmick is whenever she sneezes, her hair, cho- her hair color changes, and her so does her fucking like personality and shit. Fucking weird, right? And we don't, we see her like for a season. <laughs> it's just fucking that wild. Wasn't like an episode. <laughs> I, I thought it was longer than that, but I could be wrong. It's been like four years since I fucking watched all of fucking Dragon Ball and well... Z. I'm not gonna watch Super. <laughs> fuck that. I don't give a fuck about well, it. It's been a while since I've watched OG. For 40 years, you're bound to forget some shit. <laughs> I mean, true. But he also forgets important shit, too. Like, uh, Broly. Don't worry about it. We'll figure it out <laughs> like, later. Ooh, Broly? Yeah. <laughs> Broly was only brought up in the movies. Oriyama had almost nothing to do with them. So he just decided, ah, we don't need this fucking, this other really strong Saiyan that's fucking just a goddamn monster. Just fuck him. We'll bring him back in the movies. That's it. He's just a movie character. Somehow canon. I don't know. I hate animes when they do that shit. And straight up All I gotta see. say. Because... You guys, uh... Speaking of, like, remaking and and shit like that, 
Saints Row. Oh yeah, I saw it. Okay. I don't, I don't know. really care. I <laughs> Saints Row is a fucking cool series. But like, I feel like most of the people didn't play it till three. Like, when did you guys start with it? Because I started with the original one on three sixty. But I actually I have know, never bought any Saints Row games. I've only got them when they're free. So I've only played Saints Row um, Third. It's a well, hey, I played the best can. one. I don't think I've ever played a single Saints Row. So like, <laughs> it's whack with the first two. Because the first two, they try to, like, do this serious, like, gangster fucking shit. <laughs> and then the third one just throws all that shit out the fucking yeah, window. Is. So, like, yeah. them remastering <laughs> the first one is weird to me. Because, like, that's the one that, like, I, I would assume most people didn't fucking play. And is one of the fucking weirder, or, like, it's just, like, some basic fucking, you're just in a fucking gang trying to work your way up. I mean, that almost sounds like a weird version of Payday. It is. <laughs> It was like <laughs> trying to copy GTA at the time, um, and then it was like, hey, this really isn't working, so let's just send it fucking wild. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. <laughs> let's just go <laughs> wild with it. It worked out for him, so yeah, get on him. I'm hyped for it, though. I'll probably play it on stream, mostly because I like the series, but what about y'all? I don't mm. know. I'll probably it. try it out, but I, I'm i not sure. The Saints Row stuff, I, I'm not, <laughs> never really caught my attention. I mean, I could always give it a shot. It's it's always seemed interesting to me. It's always seems to be brought up somehow in some way, shape, or form. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. So, Paul, you're a big gamer, right? Uh, not as big as you guys, but sure, yeah, I game. <laughs> <laughs> so, what do you, what do you sort of, what, just sort of, uh, what do you do for the, for the audience, like, in your free time? <laughs> Why do you have um, to fucking bring up gaming? I don't know. I don't know. Hang I don't know. on, I... <laughs> you game, right? So what do you do? I know. I was Let's trying to. Watch your life I was trying to think. <laughs> of, I was trying to think of some way to like transition it, and then I was like, "Wait a minute, Paul doesn't yeah. really. No, he, he has, doesn't really game no, too much. He, he just he just joined <laughs> Discord. Just look for the memes. Nah, I mean, <laughs> I wouldn't do that. But yeah, you want I mean, to talk about? I play. I played a uh, World of Warship uh, earlier today. So oh, hell yeah, yeah. yeah. It is. It's, it's Dude, I love that. Um, I really but, like that game because there's anime girls that are fucking ships, and you can fucking play as those. What? Hey, don't worry about um, it. What? Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. Now I gotta fucking explain. God damn it. Okay. So let me start from the beginning. There's a fucking yes. anime called Girls Under Panzer. It's these girls that are based off of fucking historical, like, World War II fucking tanks and shit. And now there's... <laughs> and there's a spinoff of that where they're boats. Like, they're fucking, like, U.S. Fuck, or, like, giant fucking military ships and shit. Just <laughs> wild things. <laughs> and they did a crossover with World of Warships where you could fucking... <laughs> what the Get hell? that shit. Look, I'm a degenerate, guys. I don't know what you expected. Ellie. Okay, just saying, but no, I do not play that. Oh, you're missing out. We gotta, <laughs> we gotta get Paul the anime but, ship. But, I mean, for, for free time or whatever, I like to do outdoorsy stuff. And then, you know, I game occasionally. And, um, Ellie. Yeah. Like. Like I'm, I'm pretty hyped for uh, Far Cry Six. Honestly, true. I love the Far Cry series as much as like the last one kind of disappointed me. I played it all the way through. I, I mean, I did it. Wait, when you say the the last one, are you talking about Far Cry Five, or are you talking about the one that came after that? The one five. that came after Five. What? There was one that wait, came after. Wait, yeah, no, I'm pretty I sure. I don't yeah. think no, there no. was. Five was okay, the last then one. Just, then then no, there was no, there primal. was one. It, it was like a. It was sort of like a spin-off no. of five. 
No, it was. You're thinking of Primal, by the way. I'm. I'm thinking of Five. It was, Five was like kind of cool. I liked the whole cult, like that whole fucking shit. No, it took like, place the whole in the story, future. Everything. Like in the late future, I thought. I don't fucking know. I'll be honest. I think it was the side future. Yeah, the only other one I know of is Primal. Far Cry New Dawn. Yeah, there was New Dawn. I forgot about that one. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that one sucked. <laughs> <laughs> Literally, <laughs> Literally everyone I forgot ever, about it. That one. <laughs> but, like, the main series ones I can fuck with. Yeah. I love Far Cry. Like, I've played every one... Up until this point, oh, I guess I fucking haven't. I haven't played the spinoffs. <laughs> the main series shit I've played, because I enjoy that. But fuck any side series. Fuck that. Give me the main story. Mm hmm. Dude, you know what game I want to come back? Mostly what? I just want to remaster it, just for the fact that it will kill PCs again. We need Crisis 2 Crisis. remade. Yep. Just remaster. <laughs> no, no, oh my god. But specifically 2. And Crisis is a great series overall, fucking banger game. Who's my goddamn fave? I mean, didn't they already do a remaster of the first one? I uh, probably I so. either that or the I think third was like... one. It may have been the third one. I can't remember if it was first or third. Yeah. Well, all right. What series would you guys like to come back? If you could pick one fucking series, Champions. I'm switching it from Crisis, but okay, <laughs> go on. <laughs> I just want to play it on a modern system, bro. <laughs> Understandable. <laughs> Make it as famous as Skyrim and boom. <laughs> like, I, like I, I just like it as like a you know a chill single player or maybe like a co-op couch experience. I oh, I still think you should check out Gauntlet Legends, Austin. It's literally the exact same game as Champions Eternal, fucking Return to whatever, except. Uh, there's like two games in this series, but that's it. <laughs> Don't expect more. <laughs> yeah, it's the same thing uh, with Champions. <laughs> but my shit, I'd a hundred percent, I'd a hundred percent bring back Silent Hill. I think horror games oh. have gotten fucking stale, and like just pretty much the same fucking shit. And Silent Hill was the one fucking IP that I really enjoyed because. He had fucking characters like Pyramid Head and like the most fucked up story imaginable, <laughs> like on like a PS2. It's like, why yeah. can't I get a new fucking one? Come on. Yeah, imagine with... like if they came out with that shit on the Unreal Engine Five. Ooh, That'd be cool. That'd be cool, but Konami's not never gonna fucking do it. No. <laughs> yeah, Konami no literally joke. shut down every other project. Except for Yu-Gi-Oh! and eFootball. Those are the only two shits they were, are working on. Well, they had a PT playable trailer. And that was like a si I, supposedly uh, like a Silent tri Hill. Ew. No? I don't know. It was... It, well, that shit's never going to come out. Yeah, it got oh. cancelled. Yeah. So, I mean, yeah, we got it. But, like, <laughs> I just want a fucking Silent Hill game. Got it Art dangled bread. in front of us, and then they just yoinked it away. So, if I were to revive one of them, one of them I kind of liked, um, especially watching, too, just because it helped get me through a lot of shit and helped me with schoolwork, was Dead Space. This is a good mm. series. Actually, aren't, really they, good aren't, they doing one, a, aren't they doing that, though? Yeah, they're remastering it. Yeah. Wait, the first one? Yeah. Well, like, the whole shebang. The whole, yeah. well, I there's think like it's a like Dead a Space, really? like, one, two, and three. Yeah, I'm not sure if it's a remaster or reimagining, but it's it's one of the two. It better not be a fucking reimagining. It better not. No, I swear to looks... God, dude, reimagining never work. <laughs> no, they don't. It looks really good. I want to get it, but it doesn't come out on like the uh, Xbox One or whatever. It goes to the next gen consoles this only. Series. Which that's so yeah. dumb. Oh, that is whack, actually. That is mm. fucked. It, it made me know. sad. Good Just another way to make good, funny. Good series. Uh, a fucking great horror or action horror game. Uh, I thought the whole mechanics with the shooting off the limbs and shit. Very oh, cool. Yeah. And a very fun mechanic throughout that entire series. But I okay. like it up until. Like, the, the third one kind of ruined it for me. That story was fucked. 
They should have ended it at uh, two, but looks like it is a remake. Oh, <clears throat> all right, I can give it faith then, because <clears throat> they do good. They, I can always fuck with a good remake. That's all mm. I'm saying. But Paul, what about you, man? What are you bringing back? You could bring back anything. Honestly, I don't know. Um, because okay. most of my most of my series that I like to play, or whatever, are you know still being brought out and Modern stuff like games. that. Yeah. Yeah. No, ah, fuck yeah. No, you can't beat that though. Uh-uh. <clears throat> I just want like I don't know. Uh, uh, there was like something about Silent Hill that like was so fucking cool because there was like the joke endings and shit. Like, have you guys ever seen Silent Hill Three? With the dog controlling the everything. The dog? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's the fucking ending with the dog fucking controlling everything. <laughs> it's just like, <laughs> God, you put me through all of this. <laughs> what? You have to like <laughs> beat the game and then you have to beat the game again and like on a harder difficulty or. Yeah, you have something. to do it on. Yeah, it's really whack, <clears throat> but very much worth it. <laughs> the very fucking fun end. I wish games still did that, but like the I internet agree. has kind of ruined that. Mm-hmm. The internet like, has anytime, ruined everything. Like, anytime much. anything new comes out, it's like, here's everything you need to know. We've already decoded all the files. Fuck it. Yep, we already <laughs> data mined it. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Yep. <laughs> Dude, yep. Fuck. Honestly. But. I can hope for a better, brighter <laughs> future. A yeah. It, my webcam's kind of shit, so it'd be like that sometimes. You know how it'd be. <laughs> yep. But like... Didn't, uh, didn't they already on. do mods with Resident Evils too? Like a lot of mods? Oh yeah. I um, mean, the fans, yeah. yeah. You can mod any game. <laughs> well yeah i mean it, it just felt weird like the second it got released i started seeing mods off for this thing i'm like why i mean true I, it, it's fucking stupid but like there's not much you can do i mean austin's brought this up before like battlefield fucking 2042 yeah. already has <laughs> fucking cheats for it and the game's not, not even, even fucking out, out. <laughs> it already <laughs> has hacks that are for sale a mod menu Oh but like, <laughs> it's just fucked. Like, I miss. I I mean, I don't really miss the old school internet with the fucking wild west. Like that shit was crazy. You could find <laughs> anything on there, and boy, do I mean Go on anything. Go YouTube because... and watch a man get just executed. You know what the? Why would you go to YouTube oh. for that? You'd go to <laughs> Live Leak for that. What the but fuck, back Austin? in the day, there was there was just no no filters. That's not just young and leave him alone. I mean, it depends on what you were looking for. But yeah, I got <laughs> showed that fucked up. I remember one of the first videos my cousin ever showed me on Lively was a dude being decapitated by a chainsaw. Like he fucked with some like Mexican cartel or some shit, and the video was just uploaded. I watched the whole thing, and boy, it scarred me for life. But. <laughs> Also was a crazy place on the internet. He also showed me a very fuck site. Now don't ask me why he knew what this site it was. But it was a site for like... Now this is gonna sound fucked. Maybe I don't want to bring this up. <laughs> but... We might have to bring this up and title it The Dark Web. No, nah, it wasn't dark <laughs> web shit, but it was people fucking animals. Like dogs and shit. It was like chicks jerking off dogs and mm. like... Fuck like thing. me, some bestiality. <laughs> and like well, I found, or... yeah, it, and that that's where I found the squirrel. The like classic, <laughs> the classic video of two guys, one horse. If you guys have ever seen that I've, video, I've heard about it, but no, I'm we not watched that watch shit in the it. hockey locker room <laughs> when we were like in middle school. We all just gathered around you know... and fucking watched it. <laughs> Knowing, I remember knowing, knowing, that the people, knowing the people from high school, that doesn't surprise me. Here, I got, I got two questions for you guys. <laughs> yeah. Uh-oh. All right. So my first question is: uh, everything seems to get modded, like on PC and such. 
how come there's not a such thing as modding on councils out of curiosity since i i don't know any of this it's i think it's a lot is, harder but... i it, yeah it all depends it's... what type of modding you're talking about too yeah like if we're talking like straight up cheats or whatever that shit always is always going to fucking exist but like straight up modifications to a game is really whack i've like looked into it a good amount and like it's just so much easier for fucking pc to uh fucking gain access to the files and fucking transfer everything where it fucking needs to go or whatever so the, <clears throat> the main reason why mods come out on on pc but not console is because on PC, when you modify a game, the the modifications are exclusive to that particular game. Um, so the the anti cheat is disabled for only that game. Whereas if you mod it for the console, because of the way that consoles handle things, the whole console has to be marked as being modified, and anti cheats disabled, and you can't go online. So there's just pe mm. the, there's just no point in making mods. And it, I guess it also depends on online. what generation consoles you're talking about, too, because I know there's some mods you can do, like, PS1s or PS2s. What the it, fuck? Yeah, you can hardware mod them, too. Shit. Like, increase performance or just, like, yeah, put I on a bunch that. of games from, like, the memory stick. I think that's actually You can do that shit with the N64 as well. You can overclock it. That doesn't surprise Over me. It, it, it helps reduce... It helps reduce lag and shit. It's really fucking nice, and I want to do it to one of my N64s, but also, I also, I really don't want to do it myself. There's a lot of shit that could go wrong with it. Yeah. <laughs> I just fuck my 64 up. But also, if I had an overclocked console, I'd be the only other dude in the state with one. I kind of want to fucking get one. Yeah, I'm about to do a heavy mods on my PS3, too. I'm going to do, like, better cooling system i'm gonna delit it both processors and basically do like the whole nine yards for it and replace capacitors so hmm. um i got a a game boy advance at, that i'm planning on adding an lcd backlight screen to and something that i was reading online is that because of the advancement of technology when you add an lcd backlight uh it actually most of the time increases the battery performance so you get more battery yep. life what, what? <laughs> yep hey that's how we can get our infinite uh energy source right there is from our <laughs> game boy advances with those lights <laughs> we just hook up the game uh, boy we advance. broke we go. broke the world this is the small member squad <laughs> podcast solved electricity problems <laughs> no, <laughs> guys, guys. guys. The big or electric companies, area, guys, we need to stop. The big again. electric companies are going to come in and, and take us out. They don't want this, this uh, information out. We're about to be Jeffrey Epstein. Not again. Uh, <laughs> exclusive <laughs> co copyrights right here. <laughs> True. I'm about to fucking make a goddamn LLC for this goddamn podcast real quick. And then trademark <laughs> that. <laughs> Let's make patents. Come on, let's get going. Oh, yeah, yeah, we did this. LLC would be pretty goddamn funny, I'll be honest. <laughs> Just imagine like, how funny it would be if, if one of us was like super rich and was able to just pay the rest of everyone else to just be in a podcast or some shit. Ooh, I mean, that's the goal. So I stream so much over at twitch.tv slash younglefssvm. You already just know. Slams <laughs> <in that. laughs> just it God damn quick. right. God damn right. <laughs> I haven't done it in like five episodes. I listen to every podcast. So <laughs> every five. Uh. So it's still crazy to me. That are our, our still most viewed episode, and it's still by a long shot, is episode 10. The episode Actually, where you tied. can't fucking... It's tied oh, between it? 10 and oh, 14 for uh, Finally. that and the one with Fight J Fight. <laughs> oh, thank God that episode's finally gonna be fast. <laughs> <laughs> so, oh, episode yeah. 10 was the first one that we did in person. 
where we had microphones literally die on us halfway through like they just stopped working for some reason by the way they're all they all work completely fine one zach has one casey has and the other tanner has they all completely work but they just stopped working halfway through the episode and uh you couldn't yep. hear zach <laughs> for uh, a because... majority of the episode yeah i was fucked we back in the early days of doing the podcast i mean you can fucking see it from when we, <laughs> we've definitely improved a bit but like back in the early days especially like early episodes <laughs> we just get high as fuck before doing it like yeah that episode in particular i remember we had got over to the place we had got over to his fucking house we we're chilling and he starts packing up a bong. I'm like, my man, so I said set shit up. We're roasting this fucking bowl, just getting lit. And then he packs up another one. And then we fucking all smoke it. It's all three of us. And then I think that's when we about started. And I just didn't fucking look up at the OBS to fucking see when that my shit wasn't being picked up. <laughs> It also didn't it help time. that we were we had it we were all sitting we back had the worst like chairs. Eight, we were sitting back like eight feet on Zach and I were sitting on beanbag chairs. Luke we had the was sitting worst on a, a computer chair. office chair or gaming chair. I can't remember one of the two. Yeah. And we had to look uh, like eight feet away at a at a at a MacBook, uh I think a thirteen inch MacBook. Yeah. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> yeah. It wasn't little, good. Little, little green bar on OBS Studio going back and forth. I also kept getting oh, distracted no. that podcast because that was the episode where I, Tanner fucked my shit up. It was the episode after he did it. And I was just looking at myself because there was a fucking giant mirror fucking behind it. <laughs> like I'm looking at my fucking haircut. I'm like, this shit just looks so bad. <laughs> the God. Uh. <laughs> But good times. Hey, Paul, you had another question, though. What was it? Uh, so uh, I heard that uh, China just passed a law saying that um, kids under the age of, I believe it was yep. like 17 and younger, can only play a maximum of three hours uh, per oh. week. Oh, yep. yeah. And only on the weekends. Correct. And yeah. So it's like. Between like eight and nine. It's or between, I was going to say, it's only, yeah, it's only between like certain times as well. I was thinking, okay, so I have some fuck things with this. So like, I had heard about this. I had just read about it a little bit. Dude, between that hour and like whatever the fuck that shit ends, those servers are going to be fucked. Do you know how many motherfuckers yeah, right. are gaming in China? Especially in kids or some shit. That shit's about to be just fucking slammed, dog. That's a mm. very valid point. But I was even thinking, too, so, like, uh, during Monday through Thursday, there there's, like, no online game time whatsoever. So there's only an hour window, like we mentioned, uh, Thursday, or not Thursday, uh, Friday, Friday, Saturday, yeah. and Sunday. And so it's, like, say you're busy on you know, Friday or Saturday or something like that. Then it's you like an hour. Of you're, 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 you're <laughs> out an hour. You're like tough, tough luck champ. <laughs> no, that I is true. I yeah. Make sure that I'm, I'm home for that one hour. Like, uh, it's exactly. Like I can't miss that. Through my precious yeah. one hour. <laughs> I just still think of modern games and how fucked they are. Like no game has came out in the last like couple of years on launch. That has actually been playable. I don't True. care what you fucking say. Every game on launch is just like, how did this shit get released? What the fuck are y'all doing, man? I agree. Or Dude, remember the day when one games fucking update. Have absolutely no updates, no DLC. You're just you just get what the game has when it came out. Dude, that hasn't happened in at least at For least eight years. years. I'd say ten. Like <laughs> those even. were the good days. Through, I mean, but like every game now has to have a fucking battle pass, or like I, I fucking dog shit description. like that. Yeah, or like, like some type of fucking. Link Amazon table. Prime to this now for exclusive DLC. <laughs> <laughs> Through. Uh, I, it's like Amazon's the root of this problem. Well. <laughs> I'm, Amazon's the root of all problems. They have Jeff Bezos. Oh, yeah. That man's it's fucking. True. 
the richest man on earth and bald. You can't trust a man who has that much money and no hair. That's, no, that's all I'm gonna the fucking thing. say. That's Goddamn Lex right Luther it is. Levels. <laughs> okay, actually, I'll be honest. Lex Luthor has a little more uh, logic to him, and he's not a giant crybaby most of the time. Versus when Bezos tried suing the freaking government because he didn't get his way from NASA. From NASA. True. <laughs> 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 Dude, that... I'm just saying. <laughs> that man wanted to become a dragon or some shit when he was a kid. Just that like has it all in me. gold coins. <laughs> He's the Scrooge McDuck and that fucking diving in it. <laughs> like me, hoarding me some gold coins. God damn right. <clears throat> I can't wait We're till done? the apocalypse and then we start collecting bottle caps. <laughs> <sighs> That's gonna be the day. Hell yeah. Just some fallout shit. <laughs> oh god. I was, I, was about to, I was literally thinking of Nuka Cola. Like, god yeah. damn it, Bethesda. Not a uh, dude, I, I wouldn't survive. But it would be cool either. to like. <laughs> At least we know where we stand in the wasteland. I would, I would die mm. within like 10 minutes. I'm ready. Right. I, I would <laughs> accept death in a universe like that. I tried to create some fucking Thunderdome shit. Like a giant arena for fuckers to like fight in. That would oh, be God. the dream. I love the Mad Max series. Yeah. Like, especially the early ones. Like, have you guys ever watched the 70s one? Or like, I think it's like late 80s fucking. I think I've seen like parts that. of it. One where it's like filmed in New Zealand and shit. Dude. It's boring. <laughs> I'll say that. <laughs> like, the first one, I literally fell asleep. I woke up later on, I, I fucking continued with it, watched till the end, I'm like, you know, nothing really happened. <laughs> but the second no, one... No need to go back and cool watch the, shit. Piece, the part where I was asleep. <laughs> yeah, well, the first one, I don't recommend to too many people. It's not that important to the story or whatever. But the second one, though, really good. Really fucking good. And then Thunder, I think Thunderdome's the second one. Either it's the second or third one. No, wait. Mad Max 3 is fucking Fury Road. I'm, yeah, so it's the second one. I had to think about it for a second. But it's a dope-ass series. I think so, I've only seen, right. uh, was it Fury Road? The one with... Uh, Probably. Space. I know, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know who you're talking about. Yeah. But... <laughs> Actually, how do you guys feel about the new Spider-Man? I don't like that we're bringing back characters without my boy Tobey Maguire. <laughs> <laughs> Why are we doing the Sinister yeah. Six again? Yeah, honestly. This shit was done fucking ten years ago. Why are and we fucking rehashing like, this shit? They're getting the same oh, actors, too. Oh. Yeah. Did I watch Spider-Man 2 again recently? Oh. <laughs> No, yeah. Speaking of, <laughs> speaking of movies uh, and actors coming back around, did you guys hear what happened with uh, um, Johnny Depp? No. What, like Pirates of the Caribbean? What are we talking about? Yeah, so like apparently he's going to be able to sue Amber Heard for like a lot of money. I mean, yeah, I mean he should have been able to from the start. I don't see why he wouldn't have been able to. Nothing even came from the claims that she fucking made, so that's just oh. fucking. Uh... It's just they didn't do anything about it. That's the part that sucked, and hopefully, I think now it's actually being being put back into action. Well, I mean, that's the thing, though, is like, especially with like male actors and shit. Like my boy Brendan Fraser from the hit movie The Mummy. The uh, Mummy. He had some fuck shit happen to him, and like. Pretty much has never come back to fucking doing anything since because of it. Like, I always wonder what happened to that dude. Oh, do you want to know? He got like, I think, raped or some shit by like a Hollywood like higher up or some shit. He got like real fucked up about it mentally and shit, and then just fucking went to go do his own thing. He's doing pretty well now, but like, he just doesn't want to fucking do anything with movies and shit anymore. Which, I mean, honestly, fucking respectable. Yeah, there's one guy I remember because his wife passed away from cancer like way back in like the 80s or 90s. He's never went back to acting again. Think of Rick Moranis. I think the dude that's from who Honey, it is. I Shrunk the Kids. Yeah, I think that's who it is. 
I fucking love Rick Moranis. He's from Ghostbusters as well. Yeah. That guy's an absolute legend. <sighs> yep, One of my favorite Google fucking love. actors. Okay. Uh, so yeah, you ever seen the original 90s. Ghostbusters? Um, yeah, I, I believe so. I think I actually watched it uh, my grandma's. <clears throat> Ghostbusters 1 yeah. and 2. I was, yeah, have you seen both, though? I, I don't think that I saw the second one, or I don't remember watching the second one. Okay. The second one's pretty dope. He was also in they Spaceballs, are... too. I forgot about that. Oh, yeah. Yeah, there's a Spaceballs yeah, movie. Space Space movie. <laughs> he was fucking Dark Helmet. Oh, my God. Yeah, <laughs> that movie is still to this day one of the funniest fucking like, parodies I've ever fucking watched. I wish they made All... more of them. This if you've young. never watched Spaceballs, Gold. Paul, have you seen Spaceballs? Um, my younger brother has. I have not personally. You um, need to. You need to. It, it, is a, it is a standard. I was going to say, it's honestly <laughs> one of the funniest movies I've ever goddamn watched. And like, oh, so what you're telling me is I'm below standard right now because I haven't watched Spaceballs. <laughs> uh, nah, no. you can get there. Like, it's just, like, one of those movies that, like... I just, it just stays I, stuck in your head forever once you watch it. It it just okay. never leaves. There's one scene in particular that lives rent-free in my head, and it's when they're on the fucking desert or whatever, he's like, Home, home the, the desert! desert. <laughs> 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 yeah, have you found anything? All the fucking combs and shit. We ain't find shit! Have I'm you found anything? Group one, no. did you find anything? No. <laughs> no. Group two, did you find anything? No. <laughs> Group three, did you find anything? It's a significantly Wait. smaller comb because it's, it's a okay, black I, man. I was going to say, it's a fucking pig. It's like, the wider. jokes are kind of fucking... <laughs> it's like Afro bit... Man 9000. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> he, he turns around and he goes, I ain't found shit. <laughs> no, it's we ain't found shit. We, yeah, just like, we ain't found shit. I fucking love that movie. Oh, God. And, or when they're watching the fucking movie to fucking figure out what the fuck they do. <laughs> Where are we at? <laughs> We're at yeah. right here. Okay. We're right here. Okay. Another thing. They didn't just do a parody off of Space or uh, Star Wars. Or Star they did Wars. It off of Alien, too. Yeah, that, that is true. <laughs> <laughs> and What's the fucking name? ship turning into a maid. <laughs> oh my god, wow, what the fuck? Spoiler cleaner. alert. Put it to suck. Paul hasn't seen it. <laughs> ah, shit. You brought yeah, you forgot oh to say god. spoiler alert. <laughs> what? There's a lot of spoilers. <laughs> That's not a spoiler. <laughs> Why was that even? That's not even okay, a spoiler. Okay, okay, hold up, it. hold up, hold up. Main portion, like first half hour of the movie. What's your name? Barf. Half man, half dog. I'm my own best friend. <laughs> I love the opening scene of the fucking ship, but it's like fucking ten, it's like six or seven minutes of just the fucking ship scrolling across. <laughs> I, I, I cannot recommend Spaceballs enough to the fucking people out there. The movie is so goddamn good. <laughs> it's, it's a legend. It's so fucking funny. Like, when God did that damn. movie even come out? It's it's old as fuck. Like the fucking eighties. It's eighties. Yeah, like I, early I 80s have to look this up shit. now. Yeah. Wait, actually, I actually have it right. Eighty seven. Nineteen eighty seven. Oh, it was late eighties. Interesting. Because Star Wars came out in like seventies. Fucking like like late seventies. <sighs> fucking wild. That's crazy, huh? So okay. Maybe. I for- oh, I forgot. One of the legends was in this movie too, and he did play Barf. Are you fucking? Wait, who played Barf? John Candy. Oh yeah, I love John Candy movies. And honestly, oh my one God. of the f- best actors. Like, I think it's fuck. It's it's either him or fucking Chris Farley, both fucking bomb actors. But I can't remember if it's Great Up, like fucking Great North or some shit that has John Candy or some shit, but. Damn. Oh, dude! Another one that lives in my head rent free is Uncle Buck. Uncle Buck slaps too. <laughs> really good fucking movie. I like how we're talking about this, but Austin has no idea what we're explaining. Literally, we'll watch nope. these movies at some. I know. Space I want to, but not not any. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We need to. We need to do like a straight up movie night. Well, I've been talking about Austin with the, or I talked to him before with this. 
I don't know if you were there in my stream when I said it. Probably not. But I want you to fucking watch all of the early seasons of South Park with me. At least most mm -hmm. of them. We can skip some fucking dog shit episodes and stuff, but I want you to fucking experience South Park. Because in case none of you guys know, Austin hasn't watched literally any of it. <laughs> yep. I was a sheltered it, boy. It's it's weird. I still uh, see, I, I still okay, like yeah. the idea of uh doing like um I don't know if uh, video series is what I want to claim it, but doing a, at least a video with Austin, trying out all these different foods because you guys were talking about at the wedding, uh, oh, yeah. how Oz, Austin never like had any of these foods. Like he's just had the most bland, boring foods known to mankind. Yep. I mean, you're right. But the, honestly, Paul, if you want to fucking come with us for when we do some of those vids, we can fucking let you know. Uh, yeah, I think I'm we'll down. Be doing it. Sometime in September. I mean, whenever we can fucking find some shit free, sure. we'll fucking get some... We'll figure it out. Schedule it up. But, uh, yeah, I, I also can't wait for that. Having Who Hut with Austin was a very wild experience. I'll say that. <laughs> was this it? man going for the pork right away. I literally thought you were going to say it was a spicy moment. <laughs> you know it, baby. Catch me lacking. <laughs> True. Throwing oh my god! Shit. I still can't wait till we fucking try goddamn sushi. I fucking love sushi. Oh, I do yeah. not like sushi well, yeah, at all. Get a time set up. There's a pretty good uh, sushi place um by where I live. Uh, okay. That's like an all. That's an all you can eat buffet and stuff like that. So. <laughs> Go for oh, it. Oh, shit. Uh, you yeah. already know, Paul. I'll be down there. I got <laughs> you. <laughs> we'll fucking hit it up. Straight up. Yeah, but that... It... Oh, yeah. Go on. <sighs> okay. No, I... Oh, that was it. <laughs> okay. Oh. I, I, I also really want Austin to try some boba. I don't know if you guys fuck with boba or not, but I boba love me some boba. What's I need boba? to try some, too. Boba these nuts. No. Uh, boba tea is no. a... Uh, specifically like Vietnamese drink. Uh, it has it has uh tapioca balls at the bottom, and it's just usually like a really sweet fucking. Fruity it's like a mix of something. tea and milk or something like that. Yeah, essentially, and it's one of the best fucking things I've ever had. That and pho. Oh, dude. <laughs> when <laughs> I swear to God, the only place that I'd ever get pho around here is if we travel like two hours to go to some fucking sketch restaurant. But trust me, best goddamn fucking food I've ever had in my life. Oh, okay, God. that's like the known law, though, of like mm -hmm. anybody, is that this, the oh, weirdest, yeah. dirtiest, sketchiest Chinese restaurant always ends up being the best one. True. Uh, I'm not gonna be the one to deny that. I agree. Like, I think the fear adds to the fucking taste. Probably. <laughs> like, secret okay, ingredient well, is not love; it's fear. Yeah. Okay. Well, here's the thing. Okay. Made with. Have you guys fear. ever watched the? Uh, um. Oh, what's the one with Alucard? Alucard. What the what's fuck? what's the anime? Dude, Helsing yeah, Ultimate? Okay, the yes. Helsing... <laughs> yes. Helsing Abridged. Oh, yeah. Fuck oh, yeah. The turkey. Abridged series is really good. <laughs> yeah. True. Dude, that's all I'm waiting for. To just fucking... I love just eating. That's pretty much my main <laughs> thing. Trying new stuff is eating. pretty much, like, something I very much enjoy. Like, I don't know if you guys expand yourself too much, but I always try to, like, switch it up. Because I hate ordering the same fucking thing every time. I'm, Unless... a, I'm a foodie. Yeah. Yeah, okay, hell yeah. I like my foods, too. I'm saying. I just... Yeah. Sometimes I like to stick to the roots, though. Oh, well, obviously. If you, like, get a rush or some shit, and, like, or, like, like you just want to get something quick, fucking, you know it's gonna be decent. Get what you fucking go for. But I like to switch it up every now and then. I think that shit is very much worth it. There's too much food for me to not eat. And that's all oh, I gotta right. say. Oh my god. I can't wait till we try curry with Austin, though. I've literally just oh, thought boy. about this. 
Fuck, <laughs> that's gonna fuck you up, dog. <laughs> All I'm gonna say is make sure you have a good amount of milk nearby. Yeah. <laughs> also, make sure. So, uh, yeah, to sort of plan put a it. perspective on on how how shelter. I don't even know what curry is. Are you fucking serious? I mean, that shit like school. Okay, I'm pretty sure I thought I was sheltered a lot. No, apparently Red. I'm not. <laughs> That's right. I wow, think that, the number that, one prize, that, baby. That's the next. That's the next level. I was gonna say I that's some next level shit. <laughs> Curry's a. I think it originates in India. Don't fucking quote yes, me on that. It, but, I believe it does. Yeah. Uh, it's just a fuck ton of spices mixed with like chicken or that's some other stuff. Yeah, yeah, it it's fucking delicious. Yeah. But I made that shit in high school. Ever tell oh, you guys that about that? Real fucking good. Yeah, that's mm. it's it's mm. my my favorite food, curry and then lasagna. They're they're really close together. Lasagna is like, number one for me. Both mm, of them are same. so fucking. Lasagna's so goddamn good. Uh, lasagna's S tier, hundred percent. It's so good. Lasagna is so fucking good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> But, like, with that, with, like, curry and stuff. Oh, wait, I was going to tell the high school thing. Oh, Did I ever tell you guys in high school, I skipped, like, you know how, like, there's, like, classes you have to take before taking another one or whatever? Like, there was those prerequisites or whatever. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, I had to switch my schedule because, like, I don't remember, there was some fucking, like, shit that wasn't working or whatever i just had to switch up one of my classes and there wasn't much available because i did it literally at the end of the fucking day like last minute and shit like didn't fucking know fuck it man and like the only options were like some like dog shit like art class or some shit or i could (laughs) they were like ah you could fucking just you know take the the advanced cooking class and i'm like oh i'll just take that fuck it (laughs) and then entire year i didn't do a goddamn thing i just had this group of chicks they would fucking make everything i would do all the dishes at the end and then i'd get to fucking eat all the food too but mm. i get to take all that shit with me that was pretty much my my greatest experience of high school was just getting team free work Woo. yeah yeah, dude, yeah team work while i was sitting there on my fucking phone oh yeah <laughs> like teamwork man <laughs> oh, but that shit was boss. Hey, we do that <laughs> same shit every day. Like, so, like, uh, like Tracy makes the makes the food, and and someone else does the dishes. Oh, see, I have to cook for myself now. But luckily, I've learned enough from like watching videos and shit that <laughs> I can fuck. I can cook up some mean food. Like, I can fuck up some chicken alfredo. I can make some mm. bomb, bomb okay. bet. If oh, you're looking to it... grill anything, I highly recommend Blackstone. Even a small one is like super nice. Now they are really nice, yeah. The Blackstones you... are. Huh? I thought you were saying that you were watching videos on how to wash dishes better. <laughs> 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 yeah, I really, had, I really did. Most efficient fucking... way of washing the dishes. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Nah, I can fuck up some food though. Like, I don't know if you guys cook at all, but like, hell insane. yeah. What do you, what's like your one go to thing to make? Mine's pretty much pretty simple. I, it, it's just spaghetti. I can fuck, I can make some spaghetti real goddamn quick and pretty goddamn good too. It's, it's pretty easy to make spaghetti. Goddamn yeah. right it is. Yeah. You fucking hell put yeah. the pasta in there. Fuck it. That's it. Wait. It's just... so good. It is. Mine's usually like a good grilled cheese. That's a solid choice. Here, I know, I know how to make the best grilled cheese. Uh, put uh butter like into the skillet. Now, like on the well, I mean, you can still apply it onto the bread, but put it like actually into the skillet and then like put like a lid on top. Dude, it gets so good. It's so bad for you. So good. Oh yeah, (laughs) dude. Did I ever tell you guys? I used to make grilled cheese every day when I was in, like, middle school. But I wouldn't go, like, one slice of cheese or some shit. I'd be, like, putting, like, four on that bitch. Six <laughs> just slices be fucking of cheese. everywhere. 
<laughs> Dirty dog. <laughs> Mega <laughs> double decker grilled cheese. Oh, Dude, man. It was so bad. <laughs> like, <they're> just eat... <laughs> <laughs> fucking cheese everywhere in the goddamn pan and just like fuck i don't know why i did this and it wouldn't even be that great either like it would just be way too much but i'd still eat it because cover your pan and all of it nah cheese oh no <laughs> that's yes, straight cheese, shit please. baby <laughs> <laughs> Me when i go to olive garden and i have a soup just say when and the man's still there to this day. <laughs> Green and in in there at the table. The man's raking up a lot of overtime, let me tell you. Goddamn right. <laughs> tell him when I want my fucking cheese. I'll tell him when it's good enough. <laughs> no, one uh one thing that I would do in college that my if my roommates would always look at me. It's so like like I was fucked up or something. <laughs> I would take like a I'd take a block of cheese and I literally just take a massive bite out of it. <laughs> oh, just... dude, I love doing yeah. that, dude. Hey, dude that, that's just dude. a Wisconsin thing. <laughs> no You're not gonna do. poop for days. <laughs> no what you... <laughs> no, you gotta do to assert your dominance to your roommates is take a bite out of the center of the of the cheese. Look, like you goddamn what? animal. Dude, fuck that. that. That's just being a douche. That's what that is. I was gonna say, yeah, that's, you're yeah. just being a fucking asshole. That's not a certain dominance. That's just being a douche. <laughs> <laughs> I remember I went to a Smash Fest once, right? And we went, we got like pizza beforehand. And this was back when I was in high school and shit. I was just vibing. This is like one of the first ones I had ever gone to. And we had grabbed Pizza Hut before the tournament, before we were heading down to Madison and shit. And <laughs> there was a fucking conveniently placed, like, cheese store right next to it, right? So one of the homies that <laughs> was coming with, we had already paid for our shit. We are just waiting for, like, our driver or whatever. And he goes into the fucking store, buys a whole block of fucking cheese. <laughs> and then... Like, we don't have a place to fucking put this, so he just has to fucking sit with it. Like, or, it, I think it sat in this, the dude's car, like, the entire fucking night. Like, we didn't leave till, like, 10, 11 o'clock. Like, Dude, that, that, that must have gotten funky. That's what I was thinking. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, man, you really fucked up a mind, man. <laughs> and we all fucking roasted him on the way down, too. It was a goddamn kid ass strip. <sighs> That's why I love the Smash community, man. Bunch of fucking weirdos. <laughs> Fuck you. Yeah. No fun goddamn being normal. Right. I mean, normal's fucking cringe. Can I just say? Who wants to fucking have a life when I could have an internet <laughs> personality? <laughs> 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 no, I just fucking her. Oh my god, this guy. I mean, it seems like that though for me. To be honest, I stream like eight hours. I work the same amount. Mm -hmm. I don't leave my house to do shit. Do full time jobs, baby. I pretty. I wouldn't say full time job. I do streaming because I just enjoy doing it. Like if I didn't want to. I easily don't. I just don't fucking open up Streamlabs at all. I'm just like, not it. This shit ain't it today. Mm -hmm. But I try to stick to a pretty good schedule on it. Just, you know, sometimes it'd be that. Can't are there, beat that. Are there ever times when you're streaming and then there's just a blank spot of just no talking, just Zach, just very intensely looking at a screen and yeah. I'm not gonna say anything. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's my stream like half the time. Really? Like, if most people click on my yeah, because I get so high, I forget that I'm streaming and I just fucking game. <laughs> like I'm, just, I'm just gaming. Like I won't say anything for a fucking while, uh, but I'll just, I'll just fucking game. <laughs> no one will say shit in my chat, so I'm just like, I guess fuck it, man. We just vibe. <laughs> but I'll, just, I have music going though, so it's not as weird. We always have the tunes going. 
Do you ever uh, pass out like a sleep or anything during your streams? <laughs> Once I came close. It was when I was doing a 24 hour stream. And I think it was like hour like 14 or 15. I was so fucking tired. Uh, my sure. eyes felt like they were bleeding from staring at my monitor for so fucking long. And I just, I was like, all right, I'm just ending it here. And then like a month later, I ended up completing the whole 24 hour stream uh, later. But, like, I showered uh, in between that. Like, I just put on a video, and then that's how I fucking somehow made it through the rest of the day. Mm. But I I, I want to do, at some point, if I ever make it, like, somewhat bigger, I want to do a subathon at some shit, and then I would have to sleep on stream. Which, that shit would be annoying, because I already hate having lights on in my room when I sleep. Like, I... I like my shit pitch dark. Like, no fu- mm-hmm. nothing. Just fucking yep. nothing. Same no here. light. And that's ideal for me. You're not scared <laughs> of the boogeyman, then. No, fuck that. Dude, you can so, the wiener. So, to sort of put a perspective on how much I dislike light on my in my room while I'm sleeping, all of the little, like, lights on surge protectors, like the little LED lights, I just went and covered them with electrical tape. Yeah, I don't fucking do that. The only thing that illuminates light from my room when I turn everything off is my fucking mic. The mic just decides to stay fucking blue. So I, I just put a shirt over it every night. I, I don't wear a shirt to bed, so I just fucking throw my shirt over it. It's like, ah, bliss. <laughs> but fuck yeah, man. Fuck the light. Anyone that sleeps with the nightlight's a pussy. And that's coming from me. That's bitch. Paul. Paul sleeps with the nightlight. Yeah, I get it. You know it. You know it. I mean, dude, I'm I slain do... over at. Okay, yeah, go on. I'll, I'll say my shit later. I don't know where I was gonna go with that. Okay. <laughs> I, I was gonna say I fucking I've slept over at like chicks' houses or whatever where they have like you know like shit on or whatever. I'll be laying there in bed. Not be able to fall asleep <laughs> because there's one motherfucking thing on in the room. So I'm just fucking laying there like I am going to fucking die in the morning. Yeah, Ooh, this ain't it. I feel like you're too <laughs> tired to get up and and take care of the whatever is. Well, it's not even light. my fucking house, so I'm just not gonna go fucking do anything about it. I'm gonna oh. sit there and be all like, "Go break the light." Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, I'm sorry, <laughs> but uh, I can't. <laughs> sorry, I just really need to fuck. <laughs> That's how Monday is happy with Zach all the time. They just brace lights at girls' house. <laughs> now, you the fuck, now I can sleep. <laughs> you get up in the morning. What happened to this light? You didn't turn it off. <laughs> <laughs> I do, I oh my god! It. <laughs> I've had that shit happen, and I hate it. It's honestly the worst because majority of the time I'm cuddling with them or whatever. So like my arms fucked, like my arms is dead, so I can't fucking move that. And then the lights fucking on, so I'm stuck in this fucking purgatory of I'm fucking I'm in an uncomfortable situation and I can't fucking sleep. Ah, uh, god <laughs> damn, man. <laughs> So you just gotta <laughs> flail your arms to break the lights. <laughs> no, I mean, that's what I have these long legs for, Paul. You these fucking monsters. Look at these fucking bad boys. Oh, Zach's gonna oh. fucking die. Oh. <laughs> Jesus oh. Christ. Zach fucking dies on cam. Do not do that at home. <laughs> Disclaimer. Or do. Let's see. Chuck and Chuck. Trade professionals. We By that, sued. I mean I've been doing retarded <laughs> shit for years. <laughs> Hell yeah. God damn. Paul's <sighs> new to it. Well, yeah, true. He seen it a good amount in high school, but boy, am I a different creature out of it. Mm-hmm. <sighs> yeah. I'll just say that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you are a different creature, I'll say that. Yeah. <laughs> just built like, different. Dude. You know what's crazy? All those ideas and shit that we came up with, we are never smoking. <laughs> That's yeah, we are 100% completely so sober. Cold sober. <laughs> well, most of the ideas that we came up with, it was on or, the hey, spot. Hey, let's go film this. Hey, we need a video. It was, so, improv. Uh, 
Where we had absolutely no training with improv. <laughs> <laughs> no training in improv and also no training in editing i remember the first shop <laughs> video <laughs> where there's dmx playing but it's absurdly <laughs> like we didn't fucking adjust the volume <laughs> it was a fucking wild time i'll say that i remember Our um, editing has an... i uh i i would took my first video editing class in Viroqua and uh, so and I actually knew how I was trained how to use or you know taught how to use Adobe Premiere and then I moved back to where I'm living now and it was the uh, whatever the Max stuff is. iMovie. <laughs> iMovie dog. God, <laughs> I was like I don't know how to use oh, any God. of this. And they didn't teach me anything. <laughs> oh, Austin, they didn't teach anyone anything. <laughs> that was the class. <laughs> That's... That was a... Oh, never mind. That, it was laptop. one of the best classes. Actually, I'll be I started bringing my laptop in and using Windows Live Movie Maker. <laughs> I had more True. experience with that than iMovie. <laughs> sure you. I just always remember fucking with the teacher in that class. You know, it's like it, you know, he's out trying the to do anything. The wallpapers. <laughs> the wallpapers so, were classic. In our video yeah. production class, we had Paul in it as well. We uh, we had one moment for our music video where um, Tanner was like doing the the you know the sexy pose with his his leg up and his uh, you know sprawled out. I was behind oh, him geez. with my hand on my knee looking up inspirationally. And then someone took his uh, our teacher's faculty photo and photoshopped it onto, was it both of our faces? It was both no, of it's, them originally. I think it's just Tanner. Oh, okay. Just the one in the second pose. <laughs> Probably. I mean, yeah. Tanner, Tanner had the, the teacher's body a little bit better, so he had the yeah. physique. So then, uh, thick, we, then we 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 shared the picture to everyone in the class and convinced everyone to set their wallpaper to that as a, you know have that as a background. It wasn't <laughs> hard to convince them, honestly. Everybody was no, like, "Oh, was let's, do let's do it!" It was so good. <laughs> and we had a whole like fucking folder, a whole Google was, Doc full of fucking Yeah, we had a Google mm -hmm. Doc shared between everyone and where people would just upload the pictures and then uh once we graduated they just deleted the email addresses so just everything's Rest gone now all i remember in that class was showing our teacher a 9-11 meme <laughs> it was the fucking what? toy story one i think this might have been before you were there but it was the, the fucking scene where fucking Woody and Buzz are like, we're not aiming for the fucking truck or whatever, you know? It just fucking cuts oh, no. into the fucking plane crashing through. Oh no. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> That's dark. He's like, I remember he's like, it's not very funny now. <laughs> and I'm like, I don't know, man. I think I, remember him, I think I remember him saying that to you. Yeah. <laughs> uh, dude, I fucked with that teacher so much. It was a good time. But I knew that the class didn't matter, so I didn't really care. Like, it's some dog yeah. shit video production thing. At that I point, the, I, the only class that still mattered for me was, like, my language arts class or something. My English class. Same. Well, because I failed it. Tw oh wait, no, I failed it once, and then I had to do like two English classes my senior year and pass both of them. <laughs> that was the only thing I had to worry about. <sighs> and boy, did I do nothing in either of those classes, <laughs> other than the bare minimum. Yep, the That's bare minimum. Mattered. Dude, I was I was the asshole student that would literally not do any of his homework throughout the entire class. And then hand everything in when there's like a week left of class. You actually did your homework? Yeah. I said fuck that. <laughs> Dude, fuck that. 
If there wasn't something that wasn't important, or, like, if there was some shit that I had to get in, then I would fucking do it. But majority of the time, whenever teachers gave me homework, I threw it in my binder, and then I immediately threw that shit in my locker at the end of the day. I didn't even take that shit home with me. I wasn't gonna fucking do that shit anyway. <laughs> at the end of fun. the year, instead of taking all the papers out, Zach just lights a fire <laughs> and closes the I door. <laughs> I... <laughs> that why the fire alarm went out that one time? Fucking that up. makes sense. Yeah. The, when it went yeah. off like three it all days comes in together. A row. De- definitely wasn't me. Say that. <laughs> but like, I, I, no, I took the binder home at the end of the, uh, at the end of the year or whatever, and we had a fire pit. And I remember doing this with my cousin when he graduated. He, he just took them all. Threw him into the fire pit, just lit them all up. I was like, you know, respect, dog. I did the exact <laughs> same shit. I was like, okay. I ain't fucking using any of this shit. Fuck it. I think Can't honestly, that's a... what about like everybody does. Goddamn mm-hmm. right. High school is such oh, a waste boy. of time. Honestly, it's also a weird environment. That the fact that there could be 18-year-olds and 14-year-olds in the same space. Did anyone else find that weird? Just me? (laughs) Just me? Yeah. Like, seniors dating freshmen and shit? That shit was all fucked up. That's why, whenever that happened, we always gave them the stink eye and was like... Did uh... we? Because I saw so many people accept that shit. Oh, there was a lot of stink eyes. You were just in the wrong crowd, bro. No, we (laughs) gave people shit all the (laughs) time. I was in the fucking... Yeah, okay, I guess this is why I fucking... The reason why I say this is because I played sports and shit. I was around a lot of, like, some fucking pretty popular people, and they'd fucking talk about the weirdest fucking things to me. Hmm. Like, I, I I remember hearing the most fuck shit in the locker room. Like, <laughs> good times, though. <laughs> but I just, like... I just never... I, I guess... <laughs> Oh, I guess I just was like, hey, that's fucking whack. <laughs> but uh, what was I going to do? Nobody liked me on the team anyway. I wasn't going to fucking say yeah. some shit to have them hate me more. Like, I'll just fucking shut up. I'll do my practice and we'll, we'll be chill. <laughs> what yeah, we got? And then we'll go home. We'll play some video games. Goddamn right. Oh, dude. <laughs> that was back when I was playing. Actually, I think it was my freshman year when I was playing Black Ops 2 competitively. Mm-hmm. And I remember <laughs> finishing up hockey practice. I get like undressed first or whatever. And all the all the seniors are like, some of them were like, yo, Cheeks, what are you doing? What are you, well, you got a hot date or some shit waiting for you? I'm like, nah, I got to go play in a tournament. Uh, we're playing for like $500. So, so you lose. <laughs> so, mm. And like, we won it. And then I was like, hell yeah. Like, that shit was great. And I pretty much never entered anything again. Because mm, most of the land tournaments yeah. that I would have fucking had to have fucking gone to. Or like down in Chicago or fucking who the fuck knows where else. And I was like, I'm just a 14 year old kid. I ain't gonna be traveling mm-hmm. for this shit. I did no fucking way I convinced my parents to do this shit. Hey mom, like, can you drive us to Chicago? <laughs> Yeah, that's why I was like, hey, I, I need to, hey, can you pay for a bus ticket for me to fucking head down and pay for my entire fucking hotel? Come on. You know you want to hook a brother up. <laughs> Come on, I got to compete for prize ticket. money. It's $500 if I win first place. Come on. Yeah, and then I have to fucking hitchhike the way back. And <laughs> 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 get blueses. <laughs> <laughs> oh, those are, those are some fucking days. I I do miss playing Black Ops 2 competitively, but also the 360 sucked dick. <laughs> I'm just it, it was my favorite console of the two. Boy, hot garbage. Mm, get that good red ring of death. I ha- dude, I had an original white Xbox for fucking years. We'd do whatever we could to keep that bitch from overheating. Putting a fucking kind of moist towel over it. Fucking doing whatever the fuck we could to keep that bitch cool. <laughs> That's what's going on. I think it <laughs> of death. As he has like, one in his hand. 
<laughs> around no uh, but we had it, the same one it was like the original one we had got it ring ring it red ringed like four fucking times sent it in got that shit fixed fuck it happened again i'm like motherfucker <laughs> man that shit was the worst i'll be honest God i actually damn. might do that so um i get the i get the privilege of of working on uh on a holiday where nobody's gonna come into the store so I think I'm gonna bring my Xbox 360 and take it all apart and and clean it on the inside. I'd be careful because I did that before with some other electronics and that was not a good time for me. <laughs> I mean, true. I'm expecting it. Oh, oh fuck! <laughs> my job's gonna be busy tomorrow, and I'm not excited for it. Yeah. Because fuck anybody that comes to a restaurant. I'm just so <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Fuck people I'm that just walk fucking through. around. Yeah, true. Go home, pussies. Why are you still here? Yeah, make Don't your you got own school food. coming up? Come on. School's already started for a lot of people. I mean, yeah. Yeah. Still doesn't stop people from fucking coming to this town. I'll fucking Facts, say that yeah. much. Facts. I hate it. Do be fucking cringe. It really fucking do be. Like, I don't understand. I don't understand. <laughs> I I hate the motherfuckers too that are like, yeah, we come here like every year. Why? Haven't you done everything? <laughs> like, fuck, man. Like, there's there ain't shit. Nothing changes. Yeah, Why I live fifteen back? minutes away, and I don't come every year. <laughs> yeah, I can. I say the same thing. Yeah, I'm literally fucked. the same distance. Yeah, it's fucked, dude. Like I hate those motherfuckers. But anything to make that money, you feel me? <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm. The girl go money. It's anything to make that fucking moolah. Some fucking Modern idiot. Day old man. Anyway, I think I think <laughs> yeah, we're gonna let's end up there. Wrap here. Um, yeah. Paul, do you have any any social media stuff that you want to promote? I don't know if you do or not. Uh, I don't really think so. <laughs> All right. All right. You well, don't have to. Yeah, you're good. You're chilling. Thank you guys. Yeah, for enjoying another episode of the fucking podcast. If you guys want to check out our sponsors, everything's fucking down in the fucking description. Highly recommend checking both of our sponsors out. And I don't really got anything else. Bye, uh, bitches. See you. <laughs>